Hey guys, welcome back to Hanging Out with Lori. How are you today? I am good. Thank you. Today I am so excited to be bringing you this video. This is a collaboration video with my sweet friend Nona at My So Called Life 1977. Nona is one of the good guys. There is very few people like Nona on this earth. Nona has a heart of gold. She did a video about her Coastal Scents um, hot pots that she ordered during the holiday season. And I texted her. I have a ton of Coastal Scents hot pots as well. Would you be interested in doing a collab with me? And she said yes, but we need to push it out because she... The girl is probably the most wanted person to collab with on YouTube, I swear. Everybody wants to collab with Nona, and so I said, absolutely. I'm more than happy to wait to collab with Nona, and so today is the day. In You probably saw by the title that in this um, collab we are using single eyeshadows, and this is called She Picks My Singles. And we were allowed to pick, we each assigned, we each assigned, we assigned each other five different colors. And we could pick from all of our singles. It didn't have to be just Coastal Scents, but just all, any of our singles in our collection. And so she, she got the harder deal because I had a vision in my mind and so I gave her some colors and told her any tone of those colors. However she wanted to pick up, it was just in that set color, color category. I, on the other hand, she picked light pink, hot pink, gray, silver, and burgundy for me. Now I struggle with the shade burgundy. I do. I don't know why. I have a hard time knowing what's burgundy and what's not. So I went the safe route and picked an eyeshadow that's called Vintage Burgundy. <laughs> okay, so these are my five eyeshadows that she picked for me. This is my no-name um, silver that is in my project pan, my panning solitaire project. Let me try to get these out. This is Vintage Burgundy by Coastal Scents. This is Steel Gray by Coastal Scents, also in my project pan. This one has print too small for me to see. This one is Sandbar by Colourpop. And then my Light Pink is called Light Pink from Coastal Scents. So I have three Coastal Scents, one Colourpop, and an Unknown. So I'm not quite sure where this look is going to go, but we're going to go for it. I've already primed my eyes and um, set my primer. So we're just going to jump on in and play. So when I was getting ready for this, I went through all of my eyeshadows, single eyeshadows, finding... Um, shades that would fit the categories she said, like pink, hot pink, silver, gray, and burgundy. And I swatched a whole bunch of, bunch of shades I thought might be burgundy, but I wasn't sure. Because that is one of the hardest colors for me to pick out. I didn't have to swatch a whole lot of hot pink because I only have two. The other one is, um, I think, like a metallic. And so I didn't really need to look hard. I just went with this matte 
by ColourPop. Light pink. I had more of a difficult time because I have quite a few and I wasn't sure what kind of finish I wanted. If I wanted a matte or if I wanted a shimmer. I have a matte with glitter in it. So that one was, you know, took some narrowing down. You know, especially by um, tone, I have some warmer pink, light pinks versus cooler light pinks. And so that one was a little difficult. But what I really found I am lacking in my collection, and it blows my mind that I'm lacking it, is gray. Gray and silver. I have maybe like a total of five altogether. And one of my grays actually doesn't give off any pigmentation. Maybe I should have brought that one in. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. And then I have like one that's kind of a green. Sorry, this is really heavy for my hand. One that is like a green gray, one is like a brownish gray or a brownish silver maybe it was. And so I found that I'm really lacking in the gray department. And that surprised me because, you know, growing up, I just used grays. That's all I used, grays. I think it was... A palette from CoverGirl that I had like a quad of grays and that's what I used and when I'd finish it I'd repurchase the same quad so and who knows they may still have it I don't know but <laughs> okay they don't look as lopsided. I can't hold that air. It's killing my hand. Okay, that'll work. That will work. So I told Nona, I said, you know, I found that I'm lacking grays in my collection. I really need to up my game. <laughs> And since this is like the year of the singles for me, you know, I'm doing Saturday singles. I'm using singles in my pan that palette, my panning solitaire project. I'm just really focusing in on my singles. Well, not forgetting my palettes, but I'm really focusing in on my singles because I want, um, I don't know. I have so many of them and I don't want them to go bad and I love them all. So I'm not going to buy any gray eyeshadows, but I noticed a void. I'm actually going to take light pink and put it just a little bit over sandbar. I know I probably should have done this the other direction, but I didn't. And that's okay. I'm just trying to lighten this up just a little. And I didn't clean this off, but I didn't put any more sandbar on there. I just wanted to use what was on my eye to mix it in with the light pink. I'm talking to you guys as if I know what I'm talking about. Now I have a bruise. I don't know if you guys can see that on my eye. I did something, so that's why I already had my eyes primed. I kind of covered it up, covered it, it, it up, but it's pretty tender. So, <laughs> fun me, fun me. So let's talk about Nona. Most of you guys know Nona. If you're here, you're probably coming from Nona's channel, not the other way around. Nona is one of those people who seeks out the smaller channels and gives them love and support and would give her shirt off her back to help them grow and get more, um, 
more followers, more exposure. She's just, she's just one of the good people. She also does a ton of collabs with different groups. Like she's in a group with me, the Birthstone Collab. She's in Makeup Mafia, that collab group who does some of the funnest um, looks and has some of the best ideas. So Nona found my channel. I didn't find Nona's channel. Nona found me through my friend Tracy. Tracy and I had done a collab together and that's how Nona found me. And she's just kind and sweet and loving and will do anything to help. And she always says yes to people when they ask for collabs. And I am sure I am right that it is us who are asking her because the lady is packed. She has the most beautiful um, collection. It's a large collection, but she... Um, we talked one day, I think it was, it was after I moved here and she wanted me to do a tour of my beauty slash filming slash um, second bedroom. And she said she'd like to see that. And I said, when, you know, I'm all set up, I'd be happy to do it. And, um, but I said, I would love to see yours because she had told me. Because I said, I have to keep room for a bed in here. And she said, well, I just removed the bed from mine. <laughs> because there was no more room in the inn for a bed in her in her spare room. Which is now her beauty room. And that video is just so beautiful. How she has it laid out. The items, that the DIY items that she's made to help hold her. Um, collection. Just, just beautiful. I just loved that video and I was so glad she did it. It was just, it just amazed me. I mean, just a gorgeous, gorgeous room. And so Nona is just special. So if you don't know Nona, you need to know Nona because your life will be better for knowing Nona. And I'm not exaggerating about that. It really will be. Okay, we are taking steel gray. I'm liking that. Some of the burgundy pulled down a little low, which is fine. We're taking steel gray and I'm just stamping it in the corner here. And it's okay that it's mixing a little with that burgundy. In fact, I might take some burgundy and pull it down just a little. So I've been doing my 19, 2019 um, makeup inventory. I'm still working on it. But Nona had asked for swatches. And I am so glad she did. Because I have had so much fun swatching each item and it actually has helped me find items that I didn't realize had gone bad because last year I swatched them just on my hand and so I didn't realize that these things were getting close to expiration you know starting to go a little off but thanks to Nona requesting that video or those swatches, I um, I unfortunately found many an item that many a lip product item I should say that had gone bad, and it just broke my heart that I let that many items go bad because I shouldn't have. I should have been on top of them. Okay, I'm going to put a little burgundy over the top of that gray. Okay, this is a fun fact, and Nona didn't, Nona didn't know this. Well, she knows that I am 
a kid from the 80s, meaning I graduated in the 80s. And um, in the 80s, pink and gray was really big when I was in high school. And I loathed pink and gray together. I liked yellow and gray together, but that was not that was not cool. That didn't come in for years. I'm talking decades later. Yellow and gray was cool. But when I was in high school, it was not cool. And so I was kind of, I was before my time or behind my time. That's how my life worked in high school. But she did not know that I loathed, loathed pink and gray. I'm okay with it now. I don't wear it often. This is a pink and gray shirt, which I bought. But it's the only pink and gray item I own. <laughs> but I'm talking more like the light gray with, you know, a lighter pink. I was more into fuchsia and bright pinks and dark grays. Those aren't the colors that we wore. We wore the lighter ones. Okay. I'm tapping my unknown silver all over my lid. Looks like I went a little too far over. So when she picked these colors for me, I was like, how in the heck am I going to do a pink and gray look and stay true to myself? <laughs> and the burgundy has helped. I thought that sandbar would be the star of the show, but it really hasn't been. I'm surprised. I'm actually, I went a little too far over with my with my lighter gray or my silver, I mean. So I'm just taking a mixture of burgundy and a steel gray and just tapping it in the corner. There. I am going to take light pink with this fluffy brush and I'm just going over the top here to soften up. And I'm kind of missing sandbar so I might pop just a little bit more in there. Maybe not. We'll see. The color hot pink kind of scared me when she picked it, and I don't know why. It's actually turned out well. I did not play with these prior, or, you know, tried out different looks prior to. I did, like I said, swatch them to find the best color story from my collection, but I did not make a look, although I really wanted to. I, I'm kind of terrified by all this pink. I'm not a pink girl. I'm not a pink girl. Okay, I am actually going to take this light pink and just put it... Well, that didn't work. Maybe if I use this brush. It's not really showing up. All right, I am going to go off, do my face, and I'll be right back, and we'll finish up. All right, so here is my final look. We had a little bit of a snafu, and I'll let you look first. Oh, 
Why you zoom in? So, my little snafu was I lined my eyes with my Rimmel London. Is it Rimmel London? Yeah. Exaggerate in Earl Grey. And I just took it halfway across. But when I, you know, smudged it out, it went further than I wanted. So I went to put my unknown silver. This should tap it back on the middle. And instead of sticking my finger into the silver, I stuck it into steel gray. So steel gray got tapped onto the middle part of my lid. So I went back over it with the silver. And so it's a little darker than planned. And then I took the silver over and then I took light pink, put light pink in the corner of my eye, and then took the pink up just a little bit to mix that, these two shades together. So I'm back in the 80s again. Actually, this is a little light for what we, what we used. So there's a little bit of a snafu, but I think overall the look is pretty. I think she picked some beautiful colors for me, even though I was terrified of them. I think it turned out beautifully. Even that burgundy, which I was worried about, turned out nicely. Now, my lower lash line, I put down sandbar, this hot pink first, and then I went over it with steel gray, and then put in the middle the silver color and pulled it all the way over to where the pink had come out. And then I took the burgundy and just put it in the corner to connect the two, the upper and bottom lid. And I don't usually like to put um, product on my lower lash line. And in person, it looks good on camera, but in person it doesn't look so good. And then on my lip is Buxom Steel. It's a hot pink lip gloss. I thought if any time I wore a hot pink lip gloss, this was going to be it. If I had sandbar on my face, I could have gel. So that is it. Thank you so much, Nona, for doing this collab with me. I had so much fun. I can't wait to see the look you came up with, with the difficult colors I gave you. I hope you have as much fun as I do. I did, and that we do it again soon. You guys, make sure you go check out Nona. If you have never gone to see her, make sure you do. She is beautiful inside and out. Please take good care of yourself, be safe, and I will see you on the next one.